Before we start actually building our site, let's take a moment to get comfortable with the Expression Engine control panel. Across the top navigation, we can see that we have a home link, which will take you to this dashboard view that we're seeing currently. Content, which allows you to publish, edit, and manage all of the files and images um, that you are publishing on your site. Design deals primarily with the templates that we will build out that will um, handle the dynamic page, expression engine pages that we'll um, use to publish our content. Add-ons, Expression Engine has a huge range of very powerful add-ons and we'll talk briefly about some of them um, in this series. The freelancer license does not handle any advanced or extensive member um, options or features in Expression Engine, but Expression Engine commercial and non-profit licenses do have um, the member abilities to be able to add to your site. Um, admin has a lot of information under here, largely this channel administration section, which will allow you to build your different channels of content, categories, custom fields, etc. Um, under content administration, when you're setting up your file image uploaders, this is an important setting to go configure, um, as well as some security and privacy issues um, and, and options there. And finally, under tools, you could see some more advanced things like communicating, sending out emails to your clients, or some of the utilities that they have built in, even a very powerful SQL manager, which lets you get at the EE database directly. In addition to that, you see that we have the sidebar area over here, which allows you to make some notes. Um, you could upload your own avatar or graphic image here. The search field that will let you be able to search for anything in the navigation bar very quickly. Um, so we can jump right to field group management. Um, you can even add in your own links here. See this link at the top. You could also add in custom um, links if there's a shortcut that you want to have available either in the top or in the side. You have the option to hide the sidebar and that slides away and tucks there. Sometimes it's nice to have a full view here. Um, this main section in the control panel are the most common places you're going to go to be able to create content, um, create a template, create a channel of new content, or often if you just need to edit um, parts of the template, or if you need to jump right to and edit certain entries, um, and then viewing your site. Um, recent comments is something that's helpful as well as some documentation support here. Across the bottom, Expression Engine has a feature called Accessories which allow you to display scroll downable content um, and in this case it comes with Expression Engine's accessory which gives you direct links to all the documentation, technical support forms, um, even your store where you've got your downloads and has the latest version build which we could also see is in the footer. Now it's important to talk briefly about the online documentation or the Expression Engine user guide. They have great, great documentation and we'll be jumping in here throughout the series um, and everything from how to install Expression all Engine all the way up to how to develop plugins for it. So everything is in there and explained. And a nice thing is that that user guide is kind of baked in and if on any page you click on help it will take you to the corresponding Expression Engine user guide support page. So that's a really nice feature um, when you're getting comfortable with EE. If you're ever not sure what you're looking at, just click help and it'll take you to the docs for that. So there we have the basic expression engine control panel.